Hey everybody, this is Andrew for Nerdy Collectibles, doing a Toy Hunts Friday. Today we're here at Walgreens checking out what they got, what they got, and they got some discounts here. $14.99 for Marvel Legends, let's see what they got. They got Enchantress, they got another Daredevil, they got Mordor, Mordu. Mm. Nothing I really need. Nothing in the Walking Dead section. I'm always thinking I might find Maggie or Glenn at a Walgreens. <laughs> well, they still got three or four Shawn Michaels here. Basics I'll never sell. Well, pretty cool. They got the new WWE Pops. Gotta pick up that Bret Hart pretty soon. I keep on looking at it and I always put it back. Roman Reigns, he looks pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. And they got the Architect. Let's check real quick from Minecraft for my son. And then I don't got any Minecrafts here. This was a wasted trip. Let's see. Alright, so we're here at Walmart. Here's a picture of the keychains they got here. Tons of Deadpool keychains. Tons of Batman keychains. I don't know if anybody really buys these things, but they're always here, so probably not. Walmart did a full reset, so let's check out their W section before we do that. Let's check out the Pops. They're right next to the W's. They got some Batman stuff. Cool. They got some Dragon Ball Z stuff. That's pretty awesome. They got a new case of Mystery Minis Series 2. I'm take the cheats sheet out and try to find the ones I need, but I'm not on a mission for Minis right at the moment. They haven't got the new uh, Then Now Forever sets yet. And yeah, it kind of just looks like old stuff here. Well, that's a pretty big bummer there. Actually, look at that. They got Luke Harper from Series 29. Wow, that's pretty cool. But I already have that figure, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on Bray Wyatt and then Randy Orton. Dang, up front and center is the new Wyatt family. They got in the Hasbro figures. That's pretty cool. Nothing new for the Legacy Power Rangers. Just needing Yellow Ranger and Orange. Orange. Did they make an Orange Ranger? Nope. And the White Ranger. Oh, look at that. Macho Turtle. Taking a look at Star Wars for all you Star Wars fans out there. Man, this DC line is really, really depressing. We need some new merch. Quickly. No cells in the Minecraft. All right, let's turn it around now and check out uh, the Marvel Legends. 12-inch line still there. Let's see. Ooh, look, there's the Winter Soldier. I know people still having trouble finding him. And hmm, nothing I need here. Ooh, another section of wrestling figures. More Luke Harper than Randy Orton's. Cool, they got an Earthquake, that Triple H is still there, wow. Pretty cool. Nice selection they got here, but... It just makes me feel like I'm the only person who buys wrestling figures from this Walmart. still here at the same Walmart. I found out they had a clearance section in the lawn and garden. They got even more pops. They got some rock candy there, so that's pretty cool. This place that's pretty awesome, and it's, in, it's the right price. That's a good price for it. That, that's one where collectors should come out and say, um, here, take my money, Walmart. I'm not really interested in too much more here. Those, uh, Okay, now then forever three six pack, 30 bucks. That's pretty good. I'd like to get those black carded Ghostbuster figures, but I'm afraid I'm not gonna find all of them. Uh, then now and forever battle packs and no sting and warrior, of course. And 
I guess that's the death sentence for those Marvel Legends. Look at all those Marvel Legends they've got over there. For $15, it's not quite a buy yet. Mm, nothing here on the side. All right. We're here at another Walgreens. I'm checking out their Walking Dead figures. There we go. He is findable, so you don't have to go on eBay and pay scalper prices. Okay, nothing new here. You can just buy all of these at other Walgreens. There's the chameleon. I know a lot of people like him. Oh. Nothing new in the wrestling figures. Looks like the same assortment Walmart had. And check it out. Miss Marvel's Walgreens exclusive. Anybody who's wondering, I'm in um I'm in Missouri. So if you guys are looking for Miss Marvel. Come to Missouri, or uh, maybe she'll be in your area if you guys like live in Illinois or something like that. And there we go. No, I don't really collect Minecraft myself. I buy these for my son, and they retail at $8.99 at Walmart locally. And over here, they have them on clearance for $6.99. Technically, I'm only saving two bucks. But it's better than paying the higher price. And he hasn't had these figures before. So I'll pick one out and, and get it for him. Roll the Nintendo. I don't think anybody collects those anymore. Oh, cool. Ninja Turtles are on sale too. Alright, let's see what I got. First stop is the Walgreens one. I didn't get anything from me from Walgreens. But I ended up picking up this zombie Minecraft figure. Comes with a sword and a building block. Nothing too fancy. It doesn't look like the articulation is uh, real strong with this. There's a couple other figures from this wave, and I know that there's at least three waves. So that would make it about 12 figures, I think, altogether. And I know Steve's the main guy that you play in the game. Alright, so I got two bags from Walmart. Let's check out this one right here. I'm a big time Ninja Turtles fan, especially the old classic cartoons. So I didn't really want to pass this up. It was seven bucks. Figured if any worse comes to worst, I can make a YouTube video and make some merch money. <laughs> like and subscribe. Bebop comes, it looks like it's just a base area for him. I don't know if he comes with the quick land, but maybe you can check out the future video and find out what we And I got the Rocksteady one. That's been pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of Legos or building blocks or anything like that, but uh... You know, I like collecting Ninja Turtle stuff every now and then, and when you see clearance, it's like you lose all sense of self-control and you think that maybe, just maybe, you can collect another line of action figures. Speaking of which, here we go. I picked up a couple rock candies as well. First is the classic Batgirl and then the movie Wonder Woman. Now the, mo the movie Wonder Woman is the one that I wanted. I picked up Batgirl because she was there. Uh, as far as Batgirl is concerned, I like the more modern Batgirl, especially with the uh, Rebirth comics. But I picked this one up to be a placeholder. So if I find the modern one cool, if not, then I'm, I'm pretty happy that I got the classic version. The others in the wave, I'm probably going to skip, really. I just don't really care about the other ones. They kind of look too cartoony to me. So yeah, that's it. That's my toy hunts for tonight. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and leave a comment and like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And right next to it is the bell notification. If you click on that, you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos and I do all sorts of things. Uh, toy reviews, video gameplays, 
and uh, toy hunts just like this one. Sometimes I score big, sometimes I don't, but you'll have to tune in next time to find out what my next catch is. Until then, keep on collecting.